Oxymoron is saying Israel, uh, KSA, Saudi Arabia, Russia, even Pakistan matters more than India in international politics. If it wasn't for Chinese, it would be irrelevant. What do you mean? Okay, so I don't think so. I don't think that's true. KSA. Okay, so I think you guys are, you don't, okay, Some sometimes the reason why a country matters more in international politics is because they are ideological, okay? Sometimes a country matters, a, uh, would have mattered a lot more if they weren't so crazy, if, if they were just, if they were crazy. Like, for example, like, let me see, for example. Um, Okay, so for example, let me see. Let me give you an example. This this should be a good illustration. Okay, so which one do you think has a bigger GDP, Canada or Saudi Arabia? Okay. So I'm looking, Canada's GDP is $1.6 trillion. Saudi Arabia's GDP is $700 billion. So Canada um, has a bigger GDP than Saudi Arabia. But which one is more important in international politics? Saudi Arabia, okay? Saudi Arabia has, this, has a lot of oil. Um, and Saudi Arabia uses that oil as a way to, as leverage to, you know, and, you know, and also against a whole bunch, to get favors from a whole bunch of countries, right? And also Saudi Arabia has been the source of a lot of ideological um, viewpoints that has been a danger to a bunch of, like, you know, they, they exported Wahhabism. They, they built a whole bunch of madrasas in Pakistan, Indonesia, Afghanistan, and a lot of people have been, a lot of people outside of uh, Saudi Arabia has been, have been paying a heavy price for it, okay? But C Canada is a very boring country. Like internationally, even though they matter more economically, they don't, internationally, they don't matter that much because everybody assumes that Can everybody assumes Canada is going to behave the way they, be they, they, they behave predictably, right? So I'm just saying like, India, for example, if India was like a, a more ideological country and they wanted to use its economy as a way to threaten um, other countries, if it, you know, or use this economy as a way to spread its ideology, all of a sudden it would become a bigger, in international politics, it would become a bigger deal, okay? But I'm just saying you shouldn't want that. The fact that your country is more sane and acts predictably on an international stage. So for example, India, I sometimes do things that go, we find crazy from internal, from in, their internal politics, but internationally, they're not that as crazy as some other countries like Iran or Saudi Arabia or, or even Pakistan, okay, um, or China. So being a boring ass country on an international stage makes you predictable, makes, that, that should be what you want because if you're predictable, when it comes to investors, um, it's less risky to invest in you. So it's good for your investment if you if you're not some so such a wild card on an international stage. Anyways, I'm gonna come and get here. Hey, hello. You all right? How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too. Bad. Just left the gym. Oh, good. Having a banana. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, can you say so predictability is a bad thing in an, in, on an international politics? No, I'm saying it's a good thing. I'm saying like the fact that you're not um, using it as leverage to do so many things, like you should be using it, your economy as a way to force people to do things <coughs> very selectively. Because if you, if you want, your economy shouldn't be used as a way, as a weapon. Okay, because if you use your economy as a weapon to be like, hey, do 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 this for me or do that for me, or I'll, or else I'm gonna pull out of your market, or else I'm gonna put tariffs on my a trade with you, okay? Then investors are gonna be like, oh my god, their their economy is being used as a political weapon, so we don't know what they're gonna do tomorrow, okay? Like, like 
if if they all of a sudden they might tomorrow they might cut trade with this or cut trade with this. like we might like start a business chain with them and all of a sudden we might lose after 10 years of investment we might lose everything because they are uh, they're looking at their economy as if it's a, like something like a hammer to hit on people's heads right so not use letting your polit politics just be predictable and not using it as a weapon and for you to be less um, influential politically because your economy is not used as a weapon is a good thing for your economy you i mean even if you want to use it you have to be like you have to be very selective so in, investors you don't spook investors away that's what i'm saying atheist republic needs your help we have been the target of many legal attacks by hindu nationalists ever since our founder armin Avabi blasphemed against hindu deities we have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in india we have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.